How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here. Today's going to be a movie and animated series unboxing. And it's going to be on two more entries for the Resident Evil franchise. And that is Welcome to Raccoon City and Infinite Darkness. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, we have the 4K Steelbook. For Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City. So this is the latest uh, live action film. So here's the front. You see the umbrella. The uh, RPD station in the background. This has a nice uh, rough matte kind of finish. Okay, very nice. Here's the spine. And yeah, it kind of has like a weathered kind of look. I think it's supposed to be like raining and stuff. Yeah, and then here's the back. With the sign, welcome to Raccoon City, enjoy your stay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> home of Umbrella. Yeah, there's see raindrops. Okay, and here is the backing. So 4K, uh, Blu-ray, and digital. You see the title. So Raccoon City, uh, this kind of came out of nowhere. Here's the screenshots. Those look pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I just remember there being like a little, uh, I think like a teaser trailer. And uh, there was rumors that there was going to be another film. Uh, if not possibly by, say, like Anderson and Jovovich or Jovovich. Because uh, they had already done their series of movies. And uh, yeah, this came out. Here's the story details. And special features, you get some nice uh, featurettes replicating the DNA, cops, corpses, and chaos, zombies, liquors, and the horrors of Resident Evil. Yeah, those are pretty interesting to watch, yeah. And then the regions are A, B, and C, just in case anyone's wondering. But yeah, I uh, just came out and, you know, thought it was, uh, you know, pretty fun for what they did <laughs> uh so this is not an anderson film this is a whole other uh studio and stuff that did it uh, as far as i know it was a different studio yeah but different director all that stuff so here are the discs and you get some cards so i'm gonna go ahead i'll show you guys the disc first so here's the 4k uh looks great by the way yeah it looks good sounds good and here's the regular uh blu-ray same thing so you can get those ones uh, separately, a regular 4K, regular Blu-ray, and then you have the Steelbook. Uh, it is on Amazon, and I found this one at uh, Barnes & Noble. I was looking at uh, like some other movies and some manga and stuff, and yeah, I just happened to find it. it had a little bit of a sale, like 20% like off. Yeah, why not? <laughs> so here are the cards. These are nice and shiny. They see our leads. So you have, uh, so who's in here? Uh, Leon, you have Claire, Chris, uh, I want to say Wesker's in here. Quite a few characters are. Someone in the glass, on top there. And yeah, it's pretty much uh, the first and second game put together, which was interesting. Yeah, uh, I remember just watching it. I did not see this in theater. I got this, uh, I watched it when I picked it up. And. Yeah, I was like, okay, that's an interesting route to take. <laughs> the first and second game, that looks cool. The helicopter and the, I think like the moon, I think that's the moonlight. Yeah. You see a liquor, zombies. That's a cool shot. Yes, yeah, so you do get the dogs. They are in here. Yeah, all the uh, BOWs, different creatures. That looks cool. See the tongue around the RPD badge. That's awesome. So that's all the cards. And then on the inside, you have like this uh, like blood splatter on there, all spread out. Looks real nice. And then here's the front and back put together. Okay, and that does it for Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. Uh, yeah, I thought this was a fun film. Uh, they do do some things. Especially with some of the characters where you're like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, but there are uh, a bunch of them that appear in here. You know, certain key key ones. And, uh, yeah. That was a nice, uh, you know, new entry. Uh, you know, is there going to be another one? You know, not sure. Uh, but looking at the way it ended, 
Mm, possibly. Uh, but I'm not quite sure how well this did. I don't think it did very good uh, when it was in theater. But uh, yeah, feel free to let me know. What did you guys think of uh, Raccoon City? Did you guys see it when it was in theater or did you pick it up later? Yeah. Alright. And last up is the latest uh, animated, uh, well, series. <laughs> Uh, this is a, it has, uh, four episodes. It is on Netflix, and that is Infinite Darkness, all on Blu-ray. Uh, as far as I know, there's no DVD version, and this is the only one I've seen in stores. I believe Walmart has it, they Target, uh, probably Best Buy. I saw it at Barnes & Noble. So you see front. You see Leon and Claire. They are, like, your leads. I think you follow. There's a... Get creature in the background. Here's the spine. And here is the back. So this was, uh, I thought this was pretty good. So you follow uh, Leon and uh, eventually you know, Claire, Claire also. And they're investigating this incident that happened uh, during like an investigation and all of a sudden a horde of zombies like attack the president like the White House and everything and they're trying to figure out wait how is this tied to the to that incident and yeah you just follow it from there so here's the story details and here are the screenshots yeah there's another uh, CG uh, style type of film series and I thought that was great uh, like the whole uh, I like the CG films and stuff for Resident Evil yeah so this includes a 30-minute special feature, the making of uh, Infinite Darkness. And regions are, there's a Catcon, or Catcon logo, uh, A, B, and C. All right, and yeah, it's still on there. Uh, so you can still find it series. So yeah, it's, it's separated into four episodes, and they're about, uh, here's the back, uh, 30 minutes each, I think. Yeah. And here it is. And quality is good. Looks awesome. Uh, sounds great. Uh, action, that was cool. Uh, story, uh, same thing for Raccoon City. You know, it's one of those you pop it in and, you know, see what you think. <laughs> uh, but I thought this is another uh, cool entry for, uh, uh, you know, especially the animated stuff for Resident Evil and just in general. Yeah, I thought Infinite Darkness was fun. Uh, always cool. Follow Leon. You know, Claire, and see all the different characters that appear, like, hey, you're in here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, another nice one. Feel free to let me know what you guys think of Infinite Darkness as well. And that does it for the two latest entries, movie wise and animated wise, for Resident Evil. Uh, awesome. So yeah, they're both out there. Uh, this came out later, uh, Raccoon City. So this is the latest one. And then uh, Infinite Darkness came out a little while back back I think it was towards the end of last year I want to say yeah okay so now let me show you guys I did do a video on all these all our Resident Evil movie collection all the Anderson films the uh, animated ones the so Degeneration Damnation I'll show you guys here that's the steel book for Degeneration I got that later there is Damnation Vendetta. It's also really good. Now we start the live action. So we have Resident Evil. There's Apocalypse. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's the light. Extinction. Afterlife. Retribution. That's the 3D version with the lenticular. And the final chapter. So yeah, now we can add these onto there. So we'll put that Right there and then we'll put infinite darkness right there and then yeah I'll just add it like that <laughs> okay and let me make sure I can hold everything so yeah a lot of stuff movie wise animation wise and of course you have the games and there they are Okay, so now let's go ahead and display these two. That one. Oh. 
steel book like that. And then we'll put infinite darkness over here and over there. And yeah, there they are. Both look good together. So yeah, uh, Raccoon City and Infinite Darkness. Uh, I thought they were both, you know, pretty good. Or, excuse me, pretty good. Uh, the show, definitely love the animation uh, style. Uh, I, like, I like how they just continue that with those, uh, whether it's movies or like a show like this. And then uh, uh, Raccoon City, you know, yeah, just kind of came out of nowhere, you know, did its thing. Uh, they did have some nice, uh, got some effect work. Uh, they did reenact, like, when you first encounter a zombie in the mansion, how it turns around. <laughs> uh, they did do that. Uh, yeah, a bunch of homages and stuff in there. You know, they did, uh, I think overall it was, you know, fun. The action was cool. Uh, it was fun, nice. Or it was nice seeing all the different characters kind of appear. Uh, definitely different takes on them. <laughs> uh, some more than others. Uh, but yeah, feel free to let me know. What did you guys think of Re Welcome to Raccoon City and Infinite Darkness? And with that, I'll see you guys next time.